A trail mix is made with cashews and peanuts. The cashews cost five seventy-five per pound, and the peanuts cost four oh five per pound. The peanuts cost four oh five per pound. And then they give us additional information, like three times as many cashews as peanuts were used, and they give us the total value of the mixture. And the question is asking us to find how many pounds of each must have been used. So to figure out the amount of money, we would have to figure out how many pounds were used and multiply that by the cost per pound. Right? That's going to give us the total amount of money. So let's start off with the blue. Cashews cost $5.75 per pound. And we don't know how many pounds of cashews were used. Peanuts cost $4.05 per pound. And we don't know how many pounds of those are going to be used either. But we do know that three times as many cashews as peanuts were used. Three times as many cashews as peanuts. So we don't know how many peanuts were used, but we might as well call that x to say we don't know yet. We're going to find out. And since the cashews were three times as many, three times as many cashews, that means they must have 3x. So now we do know the poundage. We have 3x over here in the cashew pile and x in the peanut pile. What do we get when we add together all of this value? Well, according to the problem, we get a total amount of money of $788.10. And now we are in algebra land. 5.75 times 3 makes 17.25x plus 4.05x equals 788.10. Combine like terms, 17.25 plus 4.05 looks like 21.3x equals 788.10. Next, divide divide by 21.3 and it looks like we get x equals 788.1 divided by 21.3 37 so it looks like we have 37 for x and remember that's the number of pounds of peanuts so we have 37 pounds of peanuts and then as far as the cashews go those were three times as many and 37 times 3 is 111 so we have 111 pounds of cashews uh, so hopefully they're cashew lovers <laughs> okay why don't we pause the video and try to do the next problem on your own uh, it's an investment problem it's a mixture in two bank accounts so assuming you pause the video and tried this on your own we have a total of twenty thousand dollars that's being invested in two accounts one of them is seven percent and one of them is ten percent but we don't know how much money is invested in each but we do know how much interest was earned by the end so looking at the seven percent account on one hand oops let's erase that we have on one hand a seven percent account and on the other hand we have a ten percent account in the 7% account and the 10% account, we don't know how much money was invested in each, so let's just assign a variable to one of them. Uh, it really doesn't matter in this particular problem, so just to keep it consistent with the one on the other page, I'll choose to put x here. And since I know that there was a total of $20,000, that means that if I assumed that there's x at 10%, how much is actually left over for the other account? Well, it must be 20,000 minus x, right? Because you already put x dollars in the 10% account, right? So that's how it has to be set up. So this would calculate our interest, right? Because now we have our interest rate multiplied by the amount of money. We have our r times the interest rate times the principal amount of money in each one of these cases. So that's going to come together to be the total amount of interest, which in this case was. 1580 and now we're in algebra land so we will distribute in the first case that's 0 0.07 times 20,000 which is 1400 minus 0.07x 
plus 0.1x equals 1580. Next, let's collect like terms. Negative 0.07 plus 0.1 is 0.03x with a 1400 here, and that would be positive this time, equals 1580. Then we will subtract 1400 from both sides of the equation for the purpose of trying to isolate the variable. Now we're only left with a 0.03x equals to about 180. And then divide by 0.03 so that it appears that we get 180 divided by 0.03 looks like about $6,000. So that means that $6,000 must have been in the account that was for the x, which remember was the 10%. So 6,000 at the 10% rate, and since the total was 20,000, the amount that must be in the other interest rate, the 7% account, must be the rest of the 20 grand, which would be 14,000. And so that's the final answer to the problem.